Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the new comic book day preview for February 21st, 2024. Um, we're going to get into it shortly. I just want to say sorry for the delay, dropping this a little bit late. Um, just had a lot going on this weekend. I was at the Devil's Outdoor Game on Saturday. Uh, was not feeling all that great the day after. So uh, we pushed back the uh, release of the video um, just a little bit. So sorry for that. Normally it comes out every Saturday. So push it back a couple of days. Um, but yeah, um, as always guys, these are just my opinions on the new comic book day, uh, releases, stuff like that. So, um, take that for what it's worth. Like I said, they're just my opinions. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I think is cool. This is stuff that I'm looking at picking up. No means am I saying run out and, you know, buy these books more so saying, you know, collect what you want to collect. And, uh, Hopefully, maybe this steers you in a direction, or um, if you have different opinions, please let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, let's uh, let's get into the books. All right, so let me just share the screen here, and we'll start with Cover Fire, Best Covers of the Week. And for my number one pick, I have uh, Edge of Spider-Verse, number one by David Nakayama. This is the Marvel 97 variant. Um, kind of get this awesome uh, Spider Girl homage. At least that's what it looks like to me. Is that it's a Spider Girl homage? The pose is a little bit different, but the suit is very similar. Obviously, no mask. Um, but you also get this awesome trade box, this corner box up here with uh, the hanging Spidey. So just really cool. I love David Nakayama's covers. Um, and this one's a different. I think this one is exceptional, even for him. So. That it was my first pick. And then next up, we have um, Space Usagi, Death and Honor, number three. This is the one in 10 variant by Jennifer L. Meyer. Um, Jennifer L. Meyer um, was not really a name I was too familiar with. Um, I've known, uh, she's about the, when it comes to some of the uh, Disney covers, there was a really great Lilo and Stitch cover of that. Um, I found that was really awesome. Love this like painted style. Uh, this is just a really beautiful Usagi cover. Um, so yeah, I was really digging this one. It's just it's just gorgeous. Can't have it. So then we have a bunch of uh, honorable mentions. So we'll get back. We'll get into a couple of Edge of Spider Verse number one. So this is the Scotty Young variant. Um, Scotty Young is obviously hit or miss for some people, but I feel like the Spider Man covers. Are always pretty awesome. I really love this with the cityscape and all the different Spider-Man. It's just really cool. Definitely one of my favorite Scotty Young covers in a while. So that was first pick. And then we have the Nathan Zerdy exclusive variant, Edge of Spider-Verse number one. Love this cover. Love the color. Love the upside down cityscape. Love the spider web behind her. I just think the whole thing is really cool. Um, big fan of Nathan Zerdy. Um, but it's got to be, a, a, you know, a certain book for me like i don't like everything um although i, I do like a lot of, a lot of his covers but this one in particular i thought was really well done um just beautiful uh, next up we have incredible hulk number nine this is the one in 50 greg capullo virgin variant so normally when there's a cover like this that has a trade dress and there's a virgin available i would say just grab the trade dress because it's obviously more reasonable but i really love this one in 50 uh virgin variant i think it's just way better without the uh trade dress on it really awesome hulk cover uh, just really get that like old school style hulk i just think it looks really really cool so that was another honorable mention we threw in there then we have nightwing 111 this is the cover a by bruno redondo um again just a really cool graphic bold design on this one i love the placement of nightwing and the the bat symbol and Batman, everything about this, like the layout of this cover is so well done. Um, and that goes a long way with me. So, and I think there is one more. Yep. We have uh, the scorch number 27. This is cover B by Bjorn Barons. Um, just really awesome haunt cover, really detailed haunt cover. I'm a big fan of haunt. So this is going to make my list. I just think this is really a badass cover. So those are the covers for the week that I picked. So we'll run through them real fast one more time. We have the Edge of Spider-Verse number one by David Nakayama. This is the Marvel 97 variant. 
And then we have Space Usagi, <clears throat> excuse me, Death and Honor, number three, with the one in 10 variant by Jennifer L. Meyer. Honorable mentions, Edge of the Spider-Verse, number one, Scotty Young variant. And the Nathan Zerdy exclusive variant. And then we have the Incredible Hulk, number nine, one in 50, Greg Capullo, Virgin variant. Nightwing, 111, Bruno Redondo, cover A. And Scorch 27, cover B by Bajoran Barons. So next up, guys, we have eagerly awaited, most anticipated reads of the week. Uh, I started adding in the artists on these because as, as I'm titling them as, as most anticipated reads of the week, it's really most anticipated releases of the week um, for ongoing series, things like that. Um, I did it as reads because I wanted to feature writers like they get a little they should get a little bit more love so but i also did want to feature the interior artist so that's something we're going to start doing here so my number one pick for most anticipated read of the week is obviously ultimate spider-man number two uh, the hottest book on the planet right now um so this was a pretty obvious choice um first issue was great there was a lot of hype behind it obviously but the first issue really was a great spider-man issue so i'm really looking forward to this um a lot of hopes for the ultimate uh universe so far, uh, it's been pretty good. I enjoyed the Black Panther book as well, so uh, hopefully they can keep it up and keep it sustained. Um, but this is something I'm very much looking forward to. Hopefully, we can get their copies and get the chance to read it. Um, I was lucky with the first few um, releases, so let's hope we can get a copy of this. But yeah, this is obvious choice for most anticipated read of the week. And next up, we have Cobra Commander number two by Josh uh, Joshua Williamson and uh, Andrea or Andrea Mil uh, Milana. Sorry, I'm terrible with names, so hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm probably not, but I have enjoyed this uh, run so far. Anna John um, Universe is something that keeps popping up on my list. Um, I'm not a huge GI Joe fan. I said that when I was kind of reviewing the Duke book before, um, but I have really enjoyed these books. I think it really. Uh, did a great job with kind of reintroducing these characters. I really got this really kind of like evil feel for Cobra Commander in the first issue. There was also a big reveal in the first issue, which I'm not going to talk about on here. But if you've read the issue, you you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, we'll see what they, if they can keep it going. Um, but it's something I've enjoyed and I'm looking forward to, you know, picking up the next issue. So that was number two on the eagerly awaited list. Next, we have a couple honorable mentions. First up, we have um, Animal Pound 2 by Tom King and Peter Gross. Uh, I really enjoyed the first issue. It is really beautiful writing. A um, little wordy, but really well written. So it was okay with me. Uh, there's obviously some other stuff going on here and some obviously some other messaging going on with this book. But it's it's fun to read. It's just sometimes with these animal books, it's hard to take them seriously. I guess I'm I'm not sure how I'm I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, it's really well written. It's just we've got there. I feel like there's been a ton of these animal books lately. Like uh, obviously, uh, um, there was the, the um, two releases not too long ago. Now I'm I'm spacing on the name of the of the books. The Tony Fleek's book. Well, I can't. Oh, Stray Dogs. Stray Dogs, sorry. Uh, which was great, and I, I really loved it. It's just letting these things come out. It's almost, it's like unexpectedly good, I guess is a better way of putting it. And I really did enjoy this first issue. Looking forward to the next one. Um, so this one popped up on the honorable mentions. Uh, next up, we have Batman 144 by Chip Zdarsky, Andre Sorrenti uh, Sorrentino, and Giuseppe uh, Kevin Coley. Um, the, I really enjoyed the second issue of this story arc, the 143. I thought was better than the first one. First one, I felt like it was a little bit all over the place. Felt like it got a little bit more settled in the next issue. Um, so I am enjoying this run, and I'm on. I'm obviously in it for the long run. So we'll see where it goes. Really interesting art in this too. The art is the art changes throughout the book and during different time periods and stuff. It's really cool. Um, it's it's been a fun Joker series so far. So I, I've enjoyed it. So I definitely wanted to throw it on there. Um, yeah, so next up we have our uh, Funky Fresh most anticipated new title of the week, and that is going to be The Six Fingers, number one by Dan Waters and Suma Kumar uh, from Image. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, The One Hand, and this is the accompanying book 
for that series. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's good. Uh, the the one hand was awesome. This like futuristic neo noir crime drama. Um, it was very graphic and dirty. Yeah, I just really loved it. It had a really awesome feel to it. Um, without having to do too much, I felt like it just like they didn't go in too much depth about what is actually going on, but it still just felt really cool and really fresh. And uh, I loved it. So obviously I'm going to pick this one up. The difference is this is a different set of uh, uh, writer and uh, artists. So I'm um, seeing how like if it matches the same tone, I think this takes place at a different time period. So we'll see. I'm really curious about it, uh, but I, I can't wait to read it. I absolutely love the one hand. So, definitely going to be picking this up don't think we have a, another honorable mention for this week so the next segment is the spotlight key of the week and that's going to be spawn 350 um todd mcfarlane rory uh mcconville mcconville sorry brett booth and carlo barberi um from image obviously key significance milestone issue also supposedly debut of a new ruler of hell um but more so for those the key significance of the milestone. Um, but you get this awesome cover A. Um, and then where was the next cover I, I wanted to feature was the cover E by Jonathan uh, Glapion. Or Glap, Glap, Glapon. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. I know I am. But anyway, I thought this was the best cover by far. I love this cover <laughs> of the coiled, like, weird cape i love the eyes on the ground the white background the trade dress i just i love this cover the the rats in the background just thought it was so cool the little rat on his shoulder there's so much to love about this cover if it wasn't also one of the covers for the spotlight pick of the week i probably would have had this up on either honorable mentions or my pick of the week for cover um, but since it was going to be uh my spotlight pick of the week i figured we'll just throw it in this category Category. I kind of you'll kind of see I kind of do that with a bunch of categories and stuff like that. Like when it has good covers, I'll just throw them into the category that I listed them for. So, and then you also have the one for store Todd McFarlane signed retailer appreciation variant. I think this is the best Todd McFarlane cover. He, I think his cover is cover B. This is by far better than that. Like I love this. I love the tactical spawn with the white background. One per store, um, so keep an eye out for that. I'm sure it's going to go crazy uh, price-wise, but um, really cool. Cool that he did it. Uh, it's nice that every store gets one that's carrying spawn, so pretty cool. And um, there you have it, guys. Those are my picks for the week. I know I'm kind of rushing through this. Guys, it's still a little bit under the weather, <laughs> weather from the hockey game, um, but uh, it's been a good week. There's a bunch of good books, so get out there, guys. Check out your uh, LCSs. Um, get out there. Hopefully you guys find what you're looking for. Let me know what you guys end up grabbing, what you end up reading. Um, let me know if there's some books that, you know, I didn't list here that really, you know, blew you away or that you uh, really enjoyed. Please let me know in the comment section. Uh, please like subscribe. If you're enjoying the, the video series so far, check out the Instagram um, for the post that accompanies this video. I post every week as well as like the covers and things like that. So that'll be on Instagram shortly. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for checking out the video and, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Happy hunting.